this chapter, we learn another term we count calling operating expenses is called period cost. In managerial accounting, we want to separate, we specifically want to focus on separating inventory cost from period cost. Why? Because later on when we introduce to you manufacturing company, it's a lot more complicated than merchandising company. But inventory cost is not just it's not just a simple number of purchases, not just beginning inventory and trade charges, but since manufacturing company actually produce their products, they have a, a production line, so we actually have to go back to trace what's the materials cost, what's the labor cost, what's the other indirect cost incurred. All of this, after calculating and summarizing it, then it gets to cost of goods sold. But again, for manufacturing company, of course, we still have employees that helps us sell the product, still have administrative offices, but those, again, those are the costs that falls under period cost. The multi-step income statement, the first section is always inventory cost, which is the largest cost of doing business, and then relates to inventory, and then the remaining supporting costs operating expenses. Okay, now, inventory costs remember Inventory is an asset account, right? When we purchase inventory from our vendor, it's considered an inventory asset when we journalize it, it's the debit side increase. Only until we sell it to customer, that's the time inventory turns into cost of goods sold expense. Okay, so we're trying to calculate cost of goods sold expense, which is after the fact of selling the items to customers. So don't get confused. First step when we purchase an inventory is an asset account, and then when we sell to customer and turns into cost of goods sold expense. Right? Same for manufacturing companies. When we manufacture the items and at the end finally we have finished goods, later on we'll talk about this in more detail. At this step, it's still inventory, it's still an asset for our business. Only until we sell out to customer after the fact we do the statements, cost of goods sold this is a portion of the inventory that turns into Sold divided by the total items sold to 